All right, a good Wednesday afternoon to everybody right to the latest on Hurricane Michael. All of central Georgia now under either a tropical storm warning or a hurricane warning. So this is going to be the real deal. We'll have the outer bands that will move in through this afternoon. Then the worst weather that will be this evening into the overnight. Here are the latest numbers. Winds now up to 150 miles per hour. It's a category four hurricane and it is very close to landfall as a high end cat four. It is very close to category five strength and the landfall will be right here. Very close to Panama City. So the landfall that's about to take place. But look at the outer bands. Those are already extending into parts of South Georgia and even some light rain now into our viewing area. So through this afternoon, we're going to continue to see these outer bands cycle on through, and that will be the initial impact that we feel here locally. And we'll have to watch out for gusty winds and even a few spin up tornadoes in that. We'll talk more about that in a moment. For now, here's the track you can see brings it into South Georgia this evening, still as a category two hurricane. And initially, as this moves into our area, and it's going to be a direct hit, it will move right through. Initially, as it moves through, it will still be a category one hurricane likely diminishing down to tropical storm status as it exits through our area. But as we showed you, hurricane warnings are in effect. Hurricane force wind gust can be expected. We will have widespread power outages. So let's talk about the timeline. The outer bands, that's what we're watching for this afternoon. And this is a setup. We need to be on the lookout for those brief spin up tornadoes. We'll talk about that in a moment. The worst weather that will be for the evening and overnight. So after about eight o'clock this evening, conditions really start to deteriorate across central Georgia as the center of Michael moves directly past us. And then Michael eventually will move out as we head towards tomorrow morning. So the main impacts will actually be this evening and overnight. So let's map it out. We're looking at, of course, the rain here and also the wind gusts that are plotted on. So we will just take this hour by hour. By two o'clock at that point, we're watching for maybe some of the stronger tropical downpours to start moving through. So as soon as two o'clock, it's game on for us when we're watching out for those brief tropical spin ups. And as we continue to head towards four o'clock, this model showing a pretty stout band trying to move through places like Macon and Warner Robins. It's a model. It's not a sure bet, but the potential is there for gusty winds and any of these little downpours in there. We could have a brief spin up tornado. So that's why we tell you your preparations need to be done now. Make sure you have flashlights, batteries, cell phone, everything is charged it needs to be done now. As we head towards six o'clock, the rain, the wind becoming more widespread, but the main event is still to come. That will arrive as we get closer to eight o'clock. So here's the center of the storm down here by eight o'clock this evening. That's starting to move in to our southwestern counties. Look at Crisp County. Cordell's gusting up close to 60 miles per hour. And then the center of the storm continues to track very close by as we head towards 10 o'clock. Then by midnight, it is either entering or over us here in central Georgia. And look at these wind gusts. We have 40 to 50 miles per hour for pretty much all of our area. And some of us are up close to or over 70 miles per hour. Again, the strongest wind gusts are going to be in the hurricane warning, but everybody will see wind gusts of over 40 miles per hour from this. Then as we head towards 4 a.m., the center of the storm is right here. And again, we are all gusting with tropical storm force winds and eventually it will move out as we head into Thursday morning. But this is the real deal. This will be comparable to stuff that we saw with Irma. In many instances, I think this could be maybe even stronger wind wise than what we saw with Irma for a lot of central Georgia. Probability of winds over 40 miles per hour. Done deal. We will see tropical storm force winds here all across central Georgia. So now with the hurricane warnings, we're watching the potential for hurricane force winds and any of the shading you see here. This is the best probability for those stronger gusts. Again, something over 60 or over 70 hurricane force winds are greater than 74 miles per hour, and those are now likely for Crisp County into Dooley County, Wilcox County in Pulaski County as well. All the areas that are under the current hurricane warning have the potential to gust over 74 miles per hour. That is damaging wind. Trees will go down. There will be power outages, and that's why you need to be prepared now again with your flashlight phone charged. Everything needs to be charged. And if you had water and snacks ready just to prepare to be without power for a while, I think that's a great idea as well. So let's talk about the rainfall totals. A widespread three to five inches of rainfall is expected. Now we're not expecting major widespread flooding issues, but looking at these numbers, especially where we get the five plus inch swath right where the center of the storm will move through, minor flooding is possible and it's the wind and the rain together that will cause issues. Remember when the ground gets wet, then it's easier for the trees to go down. And when you throw in hurricane force winds to the mix, that is a formula for widespread power outages. So here's the uh, seven day forecast. 
As you can see, the one silver lining to this, by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend, our first taste of fall-like weather behind Michael. That's an up-to-date forecast. We're back after the break.